Ms. Adam at Qureshi for sharing your views. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on the health of youth across various domains, ranging from physical health, mental well-being, and socioeconomic factors. These post-COVID issues have to be addressed on priority basis. I would like to invite our next foreign delegate from Afghanistan, Bilal Alimi, to share his views. Good morning, respected teachers, esteemed guests, and fellow advocates of personal freedom. It's a privilege to be here and given the chance to speak about this important topic. Today, I stand before you to emphasize a fundamental truth that often gets overlooked in the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, the inherent right to good health. This right often taken for granted is the cornerstone for our existence and bedrock upon which we build our dreams and aspirations. And so I bring forth the simple yet profound mantra, my health, my right. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with distractions, obligations, and stresses, it's easy to lose sight of the importance of our own well-being. We neglect the signals our bodies send us, pushing through fatigue, ignoring pains, and neglecting our mental and emotional health in pursuit of fleeting goals. What I saw, but I say to you today, this must change. My health is not a privilege to be earned or a luxury to be indulged when time permits. It is my inherent right as a human being. It is the foundation on which I build my life, pursue my passions, and contribute to society. Without gold head, all other endeavors become futile. How can I strive for success, pursue happiness, or make a difference in the world if I'm not physically, mentally, and emotionally well? Yet the sad reality is that the right is not equally accessible to all. Socioeconomic... Many of us basic resources needed to maintain our health. This injustice cannot be tolerated. Every individual, regardless of their background or circumstances, deserves access to quality health care, nutritious food, safe living conditions, and support necessary to thrive. But achieving true health equity requires more than just access to medical care. It requires a fundamental shift in our collective mindset, a recognition that health is not just the absence of illness, but a state of complete physical and mental health social well-being. It requires a commitment to prevention, education, and empowerment, ensuring that everyone has the knowledge and the resources to make informed decisions about their health. So let us declare with conviction, my health, my right. Let us commit to prioritizing our well-being, listening to our bodies, and advocating for resources and support we need to thrive. Let us stand in solidarity with those are who are marginalized and oppressed, demanding justice and equality in healthcare. And let us work together in a world where Every individual can live a life of health, dignity, and fulfillment. In closing, I urge you to remember that our health is not just a personal matter. It is a collective responsibility. By affirming our right to good health, we not only uplift ourselves, but also contribute to the betterment of our communities and the world at large. So let us embrace this truth and strive to create a future where my health, my right is not just a slogan, but a reality for all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next delegate is Iman Shahzad from Al Faisal Model High School, Peshawar. Please proceed to say a few words. Mehmani Khasusi, Motarma Sadia Rashid Sahibam, Nanihai Satyo, Al Motaram Khawatino Hazrat, Shirkai Garami, Assalamu Alaikum. Aj me apke sam ne hazir hum, taki ek bunyari hak ki hai siet se, siet ki intihai ehmiet ko ujagar kuru. در حقیقت صحت ایک عظیم نعمت ہے جس کے حصول کے لیے سلامتی اور بقا کے لیے ہم سب کو اپنا کردار ادا کرنا چاہیے ادارہ ہمدرد پاکستان ہر سال عالمی ادارہ صحت کے ساتھ مل کر یوم صحت مناتا ہے یاد رہے کہ بانی حکیم محمد سعید شہید پاکستان نے جہاں بڑوں کی تعلیم اور صحت کے لیے ادارے بنائے اور تحریکوں کا آغاز کیا وہاں بچوں کی تعلیم اور تربیت اور ان کی جسمانی نشو نما پر پوری توجہ دی ہمدر نانحال اسمبلی اور مہانہ رسالہ نانحال اسی سلسلے کی کڑیاں ہیں بچوں کے ان اداروں کا مقصد نانحالوں کی تعلیم اور تربیت اور ان کے اندر اپنے حقوق کو شعور اجاگر کرنا تھا اور یہ ایک کچھ آئین عمر ہے کہ حکیم صاحب کی شہادت کے بعد ان کی دختر نیک اختر محترمہ سادیہ راشد صاحبہ بھی اس کار خیر کو خوش اسلوبی سے سر انجام دے رہی ہیں پاکستان میں جہاں صحت کی حوالے سے امتیازات اور چیلنج برقرار ہیں وہاں یہ لازم ہے وہاں یہ لازم ہے کہ ہم بچے صحت کی اہمیت کو سمجھیں اور صحت کے بنیادی حق کے حصول کے لیے جد جہد کریں اس مقالے کے ذریعے میں اس بات پر روشنی ڈالوں گی کہ صحت کو ترجیح دی جائے اور مثالوں کے ذریعے واضح کروں گی 
کہ پاکستان میں اس حوالے سے کیا ترقی کی ہے اور کن مسائل سے دو چار ہیں پاکستان میں صحت تک رسائی ایک اہم مسئلہ ہے خاص طور پر دیہی علاقوں میں تاہم صحت اور سہولت پروگرام جیسے اقدامات نے اس خلا کو پر کرنے کی کوشش کی یہ پروگرام غریب لوگوں کو ہسپتالوں میں داخل مریضوں کو ہر قسم کی تشخیص اور علاج کی سہولیات مفت فراہم کرتا ہے ضرورت اس بات کی ہے کہ پروگرام کے دائرہ کار کو پورے ملک کی ساری آبادی تو سی دی جائیں نیز بچوں کو آؤٹ ڈور علاج کی سہولیات بھی مفت فراہم کی جائے مناسب غذا اور صحت اور صفائی کو برقرار رکھنے کے لیے انتہائی ضروری ہے کہ اس کے باوجود پاکستان میں بڑی تعداد میں بچے ابھی تک کم غذائی کا علت میں مبتلا ہیں نیز اپنے آپ کو اور اپنے ماحول کو صاف ستھرا رکھنے کے لیے انہیں صاف پانی میں دستیاب ہیں حکومت اور غیر سرکاری تنظیموں نے اس مسئلے کو حل کرنے کے لیے بہت ساری سرگرمیاں شروع کر رکھی ہیں صاف اور سرسب پاکستان پروگرام اس کی ایک اہم مثال ہے اس قسم کے پروگراموں کو بہتر بنا کر ہم صحت کے بنیادی مسائل میں خاطر خواہ کمی لا سکتے ہیں اور سب کے لیے ایک صحت مند تر مستقبل کو یقینی بنا سکتے ہیں ذہنی صحت پاکستان کے حصولوں میں ایک ایسا موضوع ہے جس پر کھل کر بات کرنا بھی آسان نہیں حالانکہ ذہنی صحت کی اہمیت بخوبی واضح ہے حکومت اور کئی غیر سرکاری تنظیموں نے صحت تک رسائی اور ذہنی صحت کے حوالے سے معلومات کو عام کرنے کے لیے پروگرام شروع کر رکھے ہیں اور وہ لوگ جنہیں ذہنی بیماریوں اور مسائل کے لیے علاج کی ضرورت ہے ان کو علاج بھی فراہم کرتے ہیں ذہنی صحت کے حوالے سے عوامی سطح پر کھل کر بات کرنے کا کلچر ان بیماریوں کی بر وقت تشخیص اور علاج ذہنی اور سماجی طور پر اچھا محسوس کرنے کے لیے بہت ضروری ہے مختصر یہ کہ صحت سے بیماری کا نہ ہونا نہیں بلکہ ایک بنیادی حق ہے جس کا مستحق ہر فرد ہے پاکستان میں اس حوالے سے کرنے کا بہت سارا کام ہے ہم بچوں کی بھی یہ ذمہ داری ہے کہ ہم خود بھی اس حق سے آگاہ ہوں نیز اس کے پرزور وکالت کے ذریعے دوسروں لوگوں اور خاص کر فیصلہ ساز قوتوں اور اداروں کو اداروں تک اپنی آواز پہنچائیں اس طرح ہم اس قابل ہوں گے ایک ایسا معاشرہ بنائیں جو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کے اس قول مبارک کے مزداق ہو کوی مسلمان ضعیف مسلمان سے بہتر ہے شکریہ WHO representative Pakistan has just joined us. Let us give him our warm welcome. We, uh, we welcome Dr. Liu Dupang at, at this conference. Welcome, sir. Uh, we are uh, happy that you will join us now and listen to our child delegate speak on the topic. Thank you. Thank you. Our next delegate is Maha Mubashir from Australia. I invite her to share her remarkable thoughts. Healthy citizens are the greatest asset any country can have. Respected President of the Conference, President the Hamdan Foundation in Pakistan, Dignitaries, Amadou Fellows, Assalamu Alaikum. I am Maha Mubashir from Australia. I feel very honored to be the part of the 32nd International Health Conference Live Online Session. As per early custom, is in regarding live session as organized by the Hamdut Foundation Pakistan in collaboration with Hamdut Public School to celebrate World Health Day. The early theme of the session is selected by the World Health Organization, WHO. The theme for this year 2024 is Our Health, Our Right. Distinguished audience, I start my speech with Sir Winston Churchill's quote, which gives us a clear picture why health should be given top priority in a country. Citizens are the bearers of the foundation pillars of a country. If these bearers are shaky, weak, and unhealthy, they will not be able to form the duty of bearing the foundation pillars capably and will hamper the striving process of their country. Dear audience, every one of us has to perform certain duties. For this performance, all of us require sound health, peace of mind, livable environment, good education, as well as the basic needs of food, shelter, and clothing. It is the utmost duty of the government of a country to provide the citizens with basic and general rights. Health is one of the basic rights, and hence we have chosen our theme of the day that our health, our right. Honorable audience, Buddha tells us a valid reason why we need good health. I quote, to keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we should not be able to keep the mind strong and clear. 
Iron code. Now let's explain why good health is included as a right. For which you have to join hands together and help our government to say that all citizens attain their right for sound health. All citizens should attain health care justly and easily at a low cost. It is quite clear to all of us that we cannot buy health for ourselves, as Sam Wilson Scale says, I code. Good health is not something we can buy. However, it can be extremely valuable savings account. I encode, dear audience, the same fact is aptly phrased here by A.J. Rachmateri. I code, so many people spend their health gaining wealth and then have to spend their wealth to regain health. I encode, dear audience, today's theme, our health, our right also makes all of us realize our regal lights. Attainment of these rights is a slow and tough process for which every citizen must cooperate, not only with the government officials, but also with each other. If joining together instead of blaming and criticizing each other, we shall definitely achieve this right of good health for all. We should not spend time and waste our energies on petty arguments but wise to plan, discuss and implement ways and means of solving health issues of every citizen in our country. Irrespective of their religion, caste, creed, or culture, saving our energies for a good cause is very vital. As McDime Legacy pointed out, I quote, Keep up your vitality. A life without health is like a river without water. I quote, This fact is also aptly pointed out by Anthony Robbins. I quote, The higher your energy level, the more efficient your body. The more efficient your body, the better you feel, and the more you will use your talent to produce outstanding results. I encode, honorable audience, our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created un uncountable fruits and vegetables which help us to keep healthy and stay strong. In their holy Quran, so in number 16, verse number 69, Allah mentions the power of honey the honey bees produce as having healing qualities from man's disease. Our Holy Prophet وسلم, said, I quote, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and health, for after being granted certainty, one is giving nothing better than health. And quote, eminent guests, to conclude my speech, I would like to share this quote by Herefields. I quote, When health is absent, wisdom cannot reveal itself, art cannot manifest, strength cannot fight. Wealth becomes useless and intelligence cannot be applied. I encode, dear audience, to fight and do emphasize today's theme, our health, our right. I have been a short poem. Let me read for you. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for the fulfillment of all legal rights. Pray for a sound health with all your might. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you with good health. Believe me, it is more valuable than any other form of wealth. Each and every one of us needs to be strong and healthy because if we're healthy we consider ourselves wealthy if health was a thing that money could buy the poor would live and the rich would die i conclude my speech today with the following prayer that all of us attain proper health care which all of us can easily afford without any distinction of religion color caste or creed i mean thank you mm -hmm.